Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Matters. Today we are seeing how to get 100,000 runes in a mere 20 minutes or so right after starting a new game. First, pick the samurai class. The reason why is because it starts with a weapon that has the bleed effect and that will be necessary to complete this feat. You could choose another class, but this means you will need to find a weapon with the bleed effect. No worry, I got you covered. I will show you where you can get one on your way, but I don't really recommend it, since it's not really worth your time. Choose the name of your character and your keepsake, and let's move forward for the first step of this tutorial. When you start, I do recommend you to turn off the tutorial tip if it's not your first time to play. Let's go to the settings and turn them off. Here I am not gonna show you an epic fight because I will simply get overwhelmed by my opponent and die a terrible death. So after dying, skip those movies if you want and head outside of the crypt. Don't forget to activate the site of grace on your way. After setting foot on them grave, the first thing to do is to activate the Sight of Grace. Your next step will be to head towards the Church of LA right in front of you and make sure to avoid the Tree Sentinel on your right. His big armor and Albert is not just for showing off. After reaching the church, activate the Sight of Grace and pick the smithing stone sitting on top of the anvil. Now it is time to get your steed. Exit the church of LA by the east side and follow the road. You can just ignore any monster on your way. You can easily avoid them simply by running past them. Continue till you reach the stone pillar with the purple glowing orb. This is the map of West Limgrave. Take a left turn towards the side of Grace and pick the treasure in the carriage if you want. Upon resting at the bonfire, you will meet Melina. You can skip the conversation if you want and simply accept her offer. She will bestow you with the spectral steed whistle that will let you summon torrent. This is important if you want to do this process fast, since it will let you travel a long distance in a way shorter time. For now, just teleport back to the first step site of grace. Equip your whistle so you can summon torrent and head to the collapsed building to the west. Look over the cliff and you will see a safe place to jump. Reach the beach safely and continue south till you reach an item on the ground. This is the gold pickled fowl foot that you will need to increase the amount of rune you get by 30% for a short amount of time. And now let's just jump into the water. We will die but we will get teleported back to the first step side of Grace. This is way faster this way. Let's open the map, we're gonna need to cross this lake. Let's put a marker close to the fork of the road as a guide, and this narrow passage is where you can get the dagger Reduvia by killing Bloodyfinger Nigerus. He is not that hard to kill, but it might be still a challenge for you. Dying there will teleport you back to the first step side of grace and make you lose a lot of time. On the left, this is where Nigerus is at the end of the passage. We don't need to go there since we are already equipped with a weapon with the bleed effect, so let's go right. From here we're gonna take a left turn and follow that wall. We're gonna keep an eye on the minor earth tree and keep heading towards it. Using torrent, safely jump in the stream down the cliff, this will prevent any fall damage. Let's open the map again and put a marker on the icon there. This is where we will get the map of East Limgrave. Then continue forward and be mindful of the grizzly in the area. Let's just grab the crack tier and the crystal tier next to the mineral tree. Now that we got our map, let's open it again. We are gonna need to travel a far distance into Kaelid. Let's put a marker to make it easier to navigate. 
For now, we're just gonna follow the road to reach the third church of Marika. After reaching the church, make sure to pick the crystal tear and the flask of Wanderous Physic. Don't forget to pick up also the sacred tear and to activate the Sight of Grace. Then we are gonna exit from the gate on the west side and head north. You will meet a teardrop scarab. Kill him to get the Hash of War sacred blade. Then jump in the stream to reach the higher level and head to the next stream where there is a pack of wolf. Jump again the stream and the one after. Continue straight to reach the smoldering church. Here you will be forced to get off the run because you will get invaded. Just run straight in the church to activate the Sight of Grace. You can try to kill the invader or avoid him. If you get killed at this point you will respawn here so it's not so bad. The invader is actually not that hard to kill, especially if you use the all to r 2 combo button, but if you're not careful enough you will get killed like it just happened to me. Don't forget to pick up the 2 cookbook and exit the church from the door. You can try to kill the invader if you didn't the first time. You will be rewarded by a charm and 2500 runes. Now let's head east and make sure that at this fork you go towards the smoldering wall and jump over it to reach the Site of Grace. We are gonna need to cross this valley full of vicious monsters. Just don't stop till you reach another smoldering wall and follow the wall to the left. Activate the Site of Grace. Here I rested and got a visit from Melina. She will ask you if you want to go to the round table. For now, just refuse by pressing the circle. Let's continue by running along the wall till we reach a huge gap. We want to cross it, but it's not possible from here. Let's run along the gap to the left. We can cross the gap by jumping from over here. From here just head straight and activate the Sight of Grace. Now let's head east till we reach a cliff. Here we want to avoid the dragon, we can just run along the right side of the smoldering wall till we reach the back of the big dragon. Here we can hit the dragon as much as we want without getting hit back. The problem is that the health of the dragon is going down really slowly. This is why we want a weapon equipped with the bleed effect. So when the bleed triggers, it damages the dragon by 13,000. Continue this process till its health is almost down to zero. Now that the dragon is almost dead, it's time to use the item that we picked earlier so that we can boost the amount of rune that we will get from killing him. So let's continue hitting him a couple of times till he dies. So here you have it, you will get around 100,000 runes just from killing the dragon and also 5 dragon heart that you can use at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. So if this video was helpful to you, please like it and subscribe and see you next time.